from romance. Um, depressing because the programmers when they see us, and if you know the history about that, it's not the most um, cheerful program to watch. But anyway, time is getting on, so I am just going to get started. So, welcome everybody to Gab's Dojo Lesson 2. Um, yeah, thanks for those tuning in. Following on from what I talked about in Lesson 1, which was a couple of weeks ago now, well, just a bit longer than two weeks. Um, I initially talked about the poke system and what to do when you get hit by a poke or when your poke hits. Um, what you do with your offense. Um, one of the things I mentioned that when your poke hits, um, you go into your mid or you go into your string pressure. But one of the other things that's very popular is to go into throws, which leads on to today's lesson, which is all about the throw system and how it works. So let's get into it. So let's pick everyone's favorite two characters they love facing. Someone pick a stage for me. I'm probably going to do that every lesson, someone to pick a stage for me. I knew someone's gonna say kite in hive. I don't know why people have love for that stage. Last time the kite but let's go for it anyway. Even though Lusty isn't here. Yeah, I know, right? Promoting my stuff and bigging me up and not having a courtesy to show up, man. It's not cool. <laughs> but Right. Froze. Everyone lost throws, right? But to be fair, I know a lot of people get triggered by loads of people doing things like this. Like, if he's gonna block. Oh my god, ah, oh, I set all to block, that's why. Down one into throw, everyone loves doing that. Now I know the throw system is polarizing. Um, because of how often people grab, they feel it's guaranteed or it does too much damage. Um, I say it doesn't do enough damage, but that's neither here or there. But I'm just going to give you the ins and outs of the throw systems and what each kind of scenario means and what's your best plays in countering them, avoiding them, and so on. And the special kinds of throws that are in the game. So, as everyone most would know, there's two types of throws, forward throws, where you hold forward and the throw button, and back throws, when you just press the throw button or hold back and throw. Now, to go immediately into teching, there is two buttons for each kind of throw, which is why people find it hard to tech. If you want to tech or escape, back throws you have to press one or three so either square or cross and if you want to take forward throws you have to press triangle and circle or two and four so just to show you an example I'm gonna record Liu Kang throwing me both ways so Oops, ruin that. There we go. Playback. So, he's going to throw me forwards. So, to tech that, I need to press 2 or 4. Like so. I 
but I can't do it while I'm blocking. So if I'm holding block and trying to tech, it doesn't work. And the same thing happens with back throws. I had to press one or three. So back throw here. One to tech. Three to tech as well. Now, in terms of uh, reactions, it's not easy to really react to because you do have the time to actually do a throw is very quick and then the window to actually tech is not that long. But um, if you anticipate them, your tech window is basically as soon as you see the hands grab onto your body, essentially, that's when you should be able to tech. Bit too late, like that. So what happens is um, if you get the tech wrong, like someone does a forward throw and you tech back, you get an escaped failed. Um, so if I record Lu, just let me switch around and record Lu Kang. Mashing buttons like crazy. Escape fell there on that throw. And what that means is for some characters in the game, the next time they do a throw will lead into a crushing blow. So the next time I throw Liu Kang forward as Scorpion. to me my crush from blow. Now with Scorpion only his forward throw is a crushing blow but that doesn't mean they have to escape fail the forward throw in order to get that. It can basically them escape failing any throw and going into your crush and blow throw will work. Hey Gabriel how's it going? Just explaining throws and how to tech and now on to crushing blows. Liu Kang, however, um, as an example, is very much blessed by the NRS team because if I record Scorpion mashing, so he's pressing four in order to tech. Uh, forward throws. So if I do a back throw, it will be escape failed. Oops. There we go, escape failed. Which then means, next time I do a throw, but with Liu Kang as well, he gets it off both throws. So he is one of a select few, I think there's about 8 characters that get a crushing blow off both their throws if um, they get an escape failed. Um, I'll provide a list in the discord about who gets uh, what. So yeah, Kang is one of 8 that has both, I think there's another 8 that only has one crushing blow off their throw. There's 7 characters who actually don't get any crushing blows from their throws, regardless. And there's a couple that have special requirements to get a crushing blow, like um, Jackie with her back throw in Tekken. Um, yes, Kitana is one that doesn't get a crushing blow in either of her throws. Um, Scarlet has one. And um, Shang, I think, has got a special requirement. Um, for getting a crush and blow off his throw, but we'll get into that in a bit. Now, here is the thing about throws: is they are not always well, not always. They are not guaranteed. Ah, yes, off both, fiance. By the way, welcome. 
Um, so I know people have said that, you know, throws are cheap because people spam them like crazy. They're always a guaranteed 14%, etc. But just to show you something. If I do a down one and hit, normally a throw would, uh, as I say, most people think it's guaranteed. But if I do a throw as quick as I can, watch what happens. If I can do it right. Maybe not. There we go. So, even when you hit the opponent and it is your turn, it's not a guaranteed throw. Because it also allows you to... Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Neutral duck. So I'm going to hit it down one and go for the throw. So, the only time throws are actually guaranteed, as far as I'm aware, is if um, it is a punish. So, if for example, the one that we want, teleport. That's the only time throws are kind of guaranteed. Any other time when it hits, um, you are able to dodge it. So, um, what does that mean? Well, it means if you're good enough to see the throw coming, you can punish as you like, such as. Oh, one minute. So I've got him to reverse throw. Can punish for poke. Uh, what about reversal grabs? I think someone tagged that grab before. Yep, reversal grabs, same time, not guaranteed. Um, but you can. If it's a punish, then it can't be teched. But if it's a reversal grab, which means it's not a punish, um, they can be teched or escaped. So, what I'm going to do actually, which is a better example, I'm going to record Liu Kang doing the online special of down one into throw. And show you what you can do even if you get hit and you read the throws coming, what you can do. Good punish or poke. Um, if you want more than that, you can do that. Infamous. Drop the combo there. But down two combos work. Ah. Let's see if I can land this combo, Avengers. There you go. So that's an example of harshly punishing a throw when you dodge. Um, another thing is if you didn't have the down two crushing blow or you already used it, you can just go straight into a combo. So the thing about Throws Cap Secret is for Scorpion main. <laughs> um because they're not guaranteed if you do hard reading coming, neutral ducking just leaves them exposed. So in a way, you could say that the throw taker is taking a risk themselves um by trying to get that sneaky fourteen percent, they end up losing thirty to forty percent from that one read. 
on top of that, there's another couple of ways you can dodge throws. There it is. If I can do it right. Short hops. There we go. Or straight up jumps. Like so. Back dashing generally wouldn't work on hit or on block. I think it would vary from character to character. So some characters have some crazy back dashes, but more often than not, they wouldn't work. Uh, well, they haven't in my experience anyway. Um, but if they were reading the back dash, yeah, they could use it all. Yeah, power is creating a hostile learning environment. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're fighting in a class. No fighting allowed. Um, so, just to quick recap on what we've um, come across, or what we've gone over. Press 1 and 3 to tech back throws. 2 and 4 to tech forward throws. Uh, if you tech the wrong way, it leads to escape failed, and then the following throw afterwards, depending on your character, will lead to a crushing blow, which generally does 30, 31%, I believe, across the board. Um, when it comes to dodging throws, because throws are not guaranteed unless it's a punish, any kind of hit or block poke into throw, you can neutral duck or short hop. Um, or jump into a full combo or a one hit knockdown. So, then the next point, I guess, is sure, we I've showed you how to dodge and how to tech, but when would you expect these throws coming? That's the most important thing. So, commonly. Most people will throw when pokes hit. Just make sure I've got a set right. Yeah. So, that's the online special. Down one into throw. Um, another common time of when people will go for throws is if you do a string that is safe but blocked. So if I sc score Scorpion, do that string. Safe good string for Scorpion. Most people will throw afterwards. And last but not least, most common places where people will throw is off staggers. As we explained um, last week, when talking about stagger pressure, things like this is common. I pray for you. So that's when you would expect most throws to happen. Of course, various people play in different ways. So some people might throw in really odd times to throw you off, but in most scenarios that I found online, um, I find that those are the most common scenarios that people will throw in. So once you kind of read those scenarios, it will become easier to see that a throw is coming. I try to do that, but I get down too low. Sometimes, because with staggers, it's not a hundred percent your turn. Um, the reward for people mashing down to is greater for them to do that than to respect you. That's part of the reason why that happens a lot. But if that does happen that also just means you need to change the way you do your offense to stop people from doing that um, to show you respect 
to then you'll be able to go back into putting your throw game again. So, even though I explained how to tech throws, they are still a guess because there's a choice between forward throw, there's a choice between back throw, and the animation is still the same. So, how would you know which way to tech without just purely guessing? True for the matter is, um, you're always going to have to guess which way they are throwing. However, you can make really strong educated guesses on where they're going to throw. So, this is some Liu Kang at the moment. I am mid screen. If I want to throw a person, most likely I will have to walk up to them and throw. And. It's quite unnatural for a person to just let go forward and then press throw, which just seem to hold them together at the same time. So because of that, to make sure that people don't want their throws to whiff in case they do a, a hit like from here and want to throw or miss, they will hold forward naturally to make sure they will use it to throw. So when you're in mid-screen, if a throw comes, more often than not it will be a forward throw so if you see that coming you would um, press 2 or 4 to tech the throw where it gets um, a little bit interesting is in the corner so if I'm in a corner and Let's see, um, Scorpion was pressuring me with his string. The likelihood is that I will throw them into the corner. How do I get them to put respect on my name? <laughs> I'll go through that one day with you, Sam Bray. That might be a tuition lesson. And a similar thing for Scorpion is oh, AI if he's continuing his pressure from his point of view and wants to throw me likelihood is that he will throw me into the corner because he wanted to keep me there so that's Liu Kang I'm gonna call Scorpion doing his uh four three nonsense and he's gonna do a grab keep me there. Okay. That's most likely what will be happen. Because it's not going to throw me out of the corner and lose his face and lose his advantage. He'll want to keep me in the corner. So more often than not, people who have you in a corner and want to keep you there, if they do throw you, they will throw you forwards. So you would tech two and four and similar if you have someone in the corner and you are pressuring them but they get on a throw in you they will more likely do the back throw so you would have to tech one or three to escape that otherwise you will get thrown into the corner and then their advantage will continue from there um, aside from that the other factor Sensei, please repeat saying for his advertise my Wi Fi. Um, what did you miss, Pyro? Well, she's telling me that. Just gonna have a quick sip of water. Dust to you. Dear me. Were you going over the mindset of how they throw you? Gap? Yes, I was basically going through 
um, when they would like you to throw you and in terms of how to tech um, you would look into positioning so most often than not mid screen people will throw you forwards because they want to move forward into their throw and they don't really throw you back um, so more often than not it will be forward throw so you would tech two or four or press two and four to tech um, if you are cornered and they are pressuring you the likelihood is that they would throw you into the corner which is a forward throw so therefore you would tech like two and four or if you cornered someone and they were pressuring you and you were pressuring them and they went for a throw they will likely throw you into the corner and then take advantage there so therefore you would tech one or three for those throws watermelon just jumping over one step one more thing to mention and then i'm gonna go into command gra command grabs the last thing you would um look into is what do i want to do i want to do that and take scorpion the last thing is the type of character or play style you're facing so if i'm scorpion and i want to do pressure on opponent i'm playing very aggressive very offensive what do you guys think will be the most common throw i would do forward or back now just wait for a few answers just to see what you think sound base is forward paris is back why well, twitch had so damn long you know what Gabriel I agree with that 30 seconds for an ad is like way too long I can't even skip it's like what the hell is that for forward as well back as well literally 50 50 okay in one sentence for the people who said forward why do you say forward and for the people who said back why do you say back Um, Sakamoto, um, I was just basically asking people that if I'm Scorpion and I'm playing very um, offensive and aggressive at this position, what kind of throw game would I usually go for? Would I go, f I usually throw forward often or back often? And so far we've got a split. You want to get them in a corner that they're nudging you toward. Interesting. Easier to hit. interesting anyone else for a minute or so before I go into it back because I thought you were Luke Kang <laughs> well, I'm controlling Scorpion as you can see Chat my answer. I mean, technically, there is no real wrong answer. You can see, I could do a back row. Put some distance. It allows me to throw spears in. Or if I have the life lead, force the opponent to come to me, even though I'm being aggressive. But more often than not, aggressive scorpions who want to play offensive will be going for forward throws. Because, one step forward, or one slight step forward, your back one will connect. And same thing with your forward three.
also if you're like facing like zoners for example this is part of the reason why scarlet throws throw you so far away um, both back and forward because she is a natural zoner she needs to create as much space as possible so either way doesn't matter hey Dogen how's it going similar thing with Liu Kang if um, if it was Liu Kang that focused heavily on space control and zoning, more often than not, throw your forwards and then start doing his nonsense. But then, if he wants to do a back throw, then he can keep his going, his offense going. So that's the other factor to take into account when teching throws, um, seeing how the opponent plays and also the character that plays them. I always bait them to come to me in the corner, is that bad? Um, it's not advisable because being cornered is not a great idea. But if you actually are comfortable with being pressured in the corner, if that's where you excel as a fighter, then who am I to stop you from doing it? But generally, not always the best. I mean, it will eventually happen at some point if you are moving back and creating space. But um, if your plan works, then your plan works. more questions than say I'm feeling confident okay that's good to hear um, so just a quick recap forward throws tech 2 or 4 back throws tech 1 and 3 if you can see the throw coming um, because they're not guaranteed you can duck into a poke into a down 2 crush and blow down 2 if you have it into a full combo or short hump or jump into a combo um, People usually throw you when your, their pokes hit or whether they do a string that's safe but like not their turn or if they stagger into, well, do their stagger pressure as I covered in lesson one. Um, and in terms of knowing when to tech how to tech, positioning is one of the biggest indicators whether you're mid-screen or whether you're close to the corner and the type of character slash playstyle you're fighting against. That in general is what the throw system of the game is. There is a couple of special exceptions to the rule as there is in every game. So as Watermelon kindly brought up earlier, let's look at these things that are called command throws. I left at least half the character selection screen gap on very hard. I have too much free time. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Fine, ready to study some throw form as well. Sensei, likewise, having an opponent that is also aggressive, would you not go for the back throw scorpion if they're ready nudging you to the corner? That's why I said back. Um, For me personally, if I felt the person was being more aggressive than I was, then yes, I would do back throws because I would want to then start controlling the tempo of the match. Um, wouldn't want that person to overwhelm me. So I would create as much space as possible and let that person come to me. That's why I say there is no real right or wrong answer. Um, you might be the aggressive one, but if the person you're fighting is just as aggressive or more, you might just want to take a breather and throw them away. So, command throws. Let's go with the main man as Papa G. Yes. And two else has got one. Ah, Kano. Kano. Someone choose a stage.
can you block against Losty Sonya? Well, technically everyone can block. It's a matter of guessing. Caron ship. Caron ship. Very red and bloody. By the way, Garrus' quote-unquote death is kind of dark by Raiden. Making him drop all the way to the bottom of the ocean for eternity. It's lame. Wasn't happy about that. Um, right, so Pablo, welcome. Jackie is next. Last bit to talk about. So, command grabs. Command grabs are basically grabs which require special inputs. Not the standard throw button. And difference between them and regular throws is that they cannot be teched at all. Um, you just have to hold up. So, only way to really dodge them is because most of them are mids or highs. A lot of them are highs, but some are mids. So, with command grabs as well, what most people like to do is call is what we call tick throws. And what that basically means is like doing a quick poke straight into a command grab um, because most people still hold in block and it works such as that or oh, down free so the way to avoid them is similar to regular throws so if I switch to Gears and record Kano doing the tick throw. If I know how to do it. There we go. So. So that will hurt. But. Neutral duck works. Because it's a high. So yeah. So then you can punish with your poke. Down two. Or your standard combo. Like that. Not exactly jailing because you can dodge it. That's why. Pyro. When in terms of jailing. I will get to that in a future lesson, but that basically means you have to do nothing else but block. Um, as well as neutral ducking to dodge command grabs, you can also short hop or jump. Now, that's usually the case for most command grabs because they are highs. However, as with fighting games, there's always exceptions to the rule. And our boy Papa G, if I set Kano to duck, you think he can avoid command grabs? Guess it's a mid. So if you're not ducking that, you've got to hold that regardless. And even if you block, tick throw will work. So with that, people like Garrus, people like um, Collector and Kotokan, they all have mid command grabs. So your way to dodge them, unfortunately you can't do the whole duck and down to crush and blow or combo stuff like that. You have to do short hops or jump. Basically, those are your only way to dodge those mid command grabs. Sad but true. Well, not sad for me because I think Gears is tight. So that is command grabs overall. So just to recap, special move, uh, throws that can't be teched. You can only dodge them. Um, generally most people do them as tick throws where they do like a low poke or a standard button string like a standard one or something if it works 
and then cancel into the grab because most people are still holding block at that time and it will hit them to avoid those command grabs that are highs you have to let go of block and neutral duck to go for your down two or your combo and um, if not that then short hop or jump kick if you can nail them if the command grabs are mids then you have to do short hops and um, jumps if you are knocked down you can do delay wake ups to throw off their timing as well but that'll be another uh, Sensei drop Garrus to me please and thanks he didn't need a buff what do you mean he didn't need a buff he got nerfed actually according to the patch notes even though that wasn't true <laughs> shout out to stealth buffs for Garrus um, right the last special exception to throws is the wonderful Miss Briggs she is very special in this game Jesse Briggs. Uh, let's go with Sub-Zero Sub -Zero. He needs more nerfs than Ugly Daddy Shao Kahn. I agree, Pyro. He needs more nerfs that turn into stealth buffs, which make him better. Ah, Sakamoto's got the game. Dragon Grotto. Good choice. Probably my favourite stage in the game, to be honest. Right. So, Miss Briggs. Oh, that skin is so good. Anyway, Miss Briggs has special unique move. She has got Frotex and Amplified Frotex. So, this only works if um, Jackie is thrown and she takes it. If she goes for a throw and Sub-Zero attacks it, I can't amplify. Um, but if he throws me and I tech, then I can amplify. Like so. If I set reversal right, then it would work. Like so. And what that is, is just pressing the amplify button literally the moment you break away. Now, if you don't do anything, it goes into an arm break. If you press one or two, um, so square or triangle, it goes into the arm break. And if you press um, three or four, it does the leg break. And if you do the arm break first, when you do the leg break and hold it, you get a crushing blow. However, there is ways to escape this. Um, which break is better? Gabriel asks. See, the arm break leads to the leg break crushing blow. But that also gives you the mind game of just using leg breaks to trick people. Because, as the opponent, there is way to tech the amplified throws. And what you have to do is press the same corresponding buttons for the throw that it's going for. So if I'm Jackie, I'm going to tech the throw and then when you go for the amplify tech, if I go for the arm break, you have to press 1 or 2 to break that. And same thing if I'm going for the leg break, you have to press 3 or 4. So just as an example, I'm going to record Sub-Zero doing down 1 into throw and then mashing 1 and 2. Or 1 or 2, whichever I feel like. So, watch what happens when I go for the arm break. Got tech the right way first. 
There you go. So, in the similar way is if I go for 3 and 4. So, if I record sub. That's one three. Tech works. There you go. So that is a straight up guess as well. However, um, because most people know the arm break leads to the leg break, most people will tech one and two first, which leads them to being open to getting leg broken, but no crushing blow, if that makes sense. So it is kind of a mind game, but obviously it's important to know that if you do tech right, um, Jackie loses meter, and that's obviously important. So yes, that is how her tech game works, and I believe with that, that's everything you guys need to know about the throw system. Um, I've never touched the defensive meter in my life, I think I saw someone do it to Jackie when they kicked her away. Yeah, pretty much, it's just them teching the right way. What about Jax? Um, Jax command grabs are high as well, so you can avoid them the same way that um, um, I described with Kano. And in terms of the moves that he can do with the follow-ups, uh, I believe you just have to hold them. And Pablo, what do you mean about her other command grab? I'm thinking if you're thinking about clinch um, that's not a command grab that's just a normal move if you're thinking about this one so it's one that can be blocked and punished um, just a proof of point um, so if I Switch the sub and record Jackie doing doing that. Wait, straight up punish. Ah, oh, can't remember how to play sub, but you get the idea. Just a standing move, not a grab. Um, and I think. That is everything.